Hi guys. Sorry I'm late. I wanted to start pretty early, but um, I had lunch at this uh, very old unagi restaurant. It's uh, the unagi place where you have to eat when you're in Kawagoi. And um, we finished late, <laughs> but it was a rare opportunity, you know, so voila. This is uh, the building. I've shown you this building last time, I think. It's uh, this uh, Unagi place. It's been here for about 200 years. It's one of the most, if not the most, uh, the oldest um, Unagi place in Kawagoe. Hi, Jason. Hi, Samantha. You're up. That's good. Um, so I'm sorry I couldn't start earlier. So I thought that today what I would do, because that was an unplanned uh, thing coming to Kawa Kawagoe today, you know that I love Kawagoe. Uh, I thought that I could show you how to go back to the station, because I know that um, because of my live streams, I've heard that some people, you know, would come and stay in Kawagoe because they thought it was such a pretty cool area it is i highly recommend it um and we have the hi joyce we have the kula zukuli you know the area with all the um, old the kula you know the storehouses like this it's right there and we are going to go back to the station through the shopping streets. I thought it was, there was really no point in uh, going to back to the Kulatskuli, especially seeing that uh, <laughs> she almost ran over me, this woman. <laughs> I'm not happy. Um, there was no point in going back there because we would waste time. Not waste time, but then the life would get so long, right? Uh, I wanted to think on the shopping streets, which I haven't shown you yet. Um, this place is pretty popular here. You know that Kawagoe, one of the specialties is sweet potato, because uh, sweet potato based stuff here you see they have uh, this place is pretty popular for its um, sweet potato waffles so i thought we should focus you know on the shopping streets because they are pretty cool from here it's about 1.7 kilometers so it will be f it will be just the right time i think you know if we go slowly you know to spend a moment together you will see the atmosphere that uh, kawagoe um, it's not just about that um, storehouses area you know the little edo area i don't know you couldn't see uh, they were, she was wearing, she had, was wearing some cosplay um, outfit. I like, check out this coffee shop. That building, it's pretty retro, right? Isn't it cool? I have to try and have a coffee here someday. I should have had a coffee here actually before starting. I had a coffee, I didn't show you, but there, there is a coffee shop. It's, he makes uh, good coffee over there. It's a hill something coffee place. If you want to have good coffee, it's good. But I definitely have to try this place someday because of, yes, Jason, that, that retro atmosphere is so cool, I think. Huh? There is, mm, that uh, gâteau chocolat looks so nice too. Take out. Nice.
Well, so we have a beautiful weather today, <laughs> which is nice. And you know, so yesterday evening I had this dinner. Hello, Kawagoe, Samantha. It's located, uh, it's a half an hour from Ikebukuro, Ikebukuro Station on the Tobu Tojo line. And it has this area which is called Checkout. I will put it in the description when I get back home. But I made a live stream in that little Edo area. It's called, in Japanese, it's called Kula Tsukuri. Kula means storehouses or warehouses. And um, I will put the link in the description, but I did that live stream something like two weeks ago, so you should easily find it. And uh, they also, the nickname is Little Edo because it reminds people of uh, Edo, you know, this uh, area. I went there before starting, oh my God, it was so crowded. Uh, and as I filmed there already, I, I wanted to, you know, to show you the way, how to go from the station to Little Edo, okay? So here it's just a small, let's say, I showed you also that uh, Emusubi, shrine this shrine is good uh, for love matchmaking we're not going to go there again <laughs> i want to show you new places we need to focus huh because i'm so often you know those places that i like i'm tempted to go again you know but uh, we have to go to the main um, shopping street which is like you know in Japan they have many shopping streets like that but this one is pretty long some of the stores you can feel that they are pretty old and they have you know really the Edo like atmosphere so I think that uh, you will like it huh? ah, you booked your ah yes we're already we're in January so May is uh, will arrive pretty quickly right so here we just have there is there's going to be a bit just a little bit without stores but it will be just it will be very short maybe two three hundred meters so I think that you can see that uh, there are many more people than when I come when I came here during the week there are lots of tourists <laughs> uh, Japanese and uh, foreign tourists oh my god all those places I showed you last time it was it was so crazy busy like the street where people were almost on the streets the side streets were full of people um, so you know because it's Saturday today right so it's good that sometimes you know, I can come on weekdays uh, if you can come on weekday, I think it will be better because on weekends it's just so crowded because Kamago is very popular. So, alors, it's not yet the like super super uh, like a shopping street yet, but we are getting there. That's uh, Maruetsu, that's a supermarket. But here it's good because uh, it's a, um, a shopping street where there won't be any cars. Or not so many cars, huh? Here they sell a lot of uh, masks, <laughs> not uh, the masks that I showed you yesterday, those masks. I need to buy one of those. Huh? So you see that it's, I think that Kawagoe also what is um, typical here is that the um, city is not so high you can see that there are not so many high buildings around me right 
so I think this is also why people they like to come here um, we are not going to get I have to come someday um, in the evening I think we should try and see how the night uh, life, how Koi, Kawagoi looks like during the night. I think it would be uh, yeah. really interesting. Mm. Hi, Bibi. I'm a little bit curious about this uh, Utage. It's a bar, Kawagoi bar. Hi, Tom. Koedo bar. It's little Edo bar. I don't know why, but uh, this place looks yummy, I think. It's too bad I have, uh, I'm on my own, my friends, uh, I wanted, you know, to go around on my own. This is an onsen, Kawagoe onsen. Obviously, I'm not going to take you. <laughs> To have a bath with me but you know if i had had someone with me <laughs> I, I would have liked to and you know to have the babies to take a picture there well that's uh, an hotel i haven't checked the hotels in uh, kawagoe but uh, that's an onsen they do both onsen hotel and they also have its uh, Gekijo, so it's a small theater. I was tempted to go and try, you know, the Mont Blanc. Do you remember the Mont Blanc soft serve? But I had so, so much food, unagi, at lunch, that, uh, and it was so crowded, oh my god, you should have seen that. You know, when I, usually when I go to, I take you to places, I'm always lucky because it's not super crowded, and I also pick the days, I think, uh, when it's not crowded, but um, today, it's a Saturday, so, oh my god. Uh, this... Sake place. It's pretty old too. It's written Onichiwa 140 years ago. I know that the locals uh, use this place. Voila. Hello, I'm curious also about this. This looks like some. Uh, is it some uh, perfume? I think this is like local perfume. Like super expensive, guys. But I'm curious about this. Opal. What is it? Maybe this is some lotion. I'm not sure. Lotion, but uh, hi, Jeff. Voila, we're arriving where, you know, just walk a little bit more and then we'll have all the the shopping street, like the real shopping street, let's sell, say, we'll start. Uh, this building, it's also a building where they sell lots of souvenirs. I always see lots of Japanese people going in there too, so. Ah, this is nice. I always see this uh, store closed during the week. It's nice to see it open today. I think that these are books covers. Yes, book covers. Nice, huh? We don't have this kind of book covers in France. That's uh, something I could send to my patrons, you know, those who have uh, the, um, the parcels, tiers. I like this uh, store. Check out the masks. One day I will buy a mask here because I, they look like really super good quality. See, it's not the same price. They look like the real stuff, I think. 
This is nice. Konnichiwa. It looks like a super old in this store. Let's check it out. I'm going. I'm going to show you <laughs> from uh, the other side, and uh, I'll, I'm going to show you the inside of this uh, Omiyage souvenir place. That's pretty popular too, because it has all of uh, Kawagoe's um, meibutsu, you know, specialties. See, that's the store. It that looks like the real stuff, right? This building must have more than a hundred years, I think. Huh? Well, and then you have this big, what used to be a uh, warehouse. It's been transformed into a souvenir shop. It's very popular. See, it's uh, pretty large. And here you have some, uh, you can buy some sake over there. And here you can do also, of course, eat and taste uh, some sake. I mean, if you come to Kawagoe and you don't have the time to go all over the place, this place will enable you to find all the specialties and the, um, you know, like also the local drinks. So this place can be interesting, I think, for you. Well, and I really love the atmosphere of this store. I want to live there, <laughs> right? As always. <laughs> so there are lots of people wearing kimono in Kawagoe because it's really, you know, as it's uh, this, it's people feel like being in Edo here. They play the game, you know, and uh, they wear kimono. Hello here. But we have some uh, that looks like some croquettes. Karaage kana? Ah, gyu, ah, kushikatsu. <laughs> kushikatsu, eh, nani? Gyu? Ah, osakana. Buta, pote, ah, okay, pork, pork and uh, fish sausages. Okay, I see. Nice. Arigatou gozaimasu. Suimasen. <laughs> So actually, you know, it was funny because I said, yeah, I love uh, Kawagoe. I want to become uh, Kawagoe's ambassador. <laughs> I want to become the ambassador or, of every place that's a little bit uh, Japanese, right? Um, and actually, one of the, we, we, it was a, a lunch, we were nine persons. And one of the persons said that they have an apartment that they are not using and they were like well yeah if you want to live in Kawagoe we can uh, lend you our apartment you know I was like yeah hey, you know I have to think about it okay so from here see it was just a short uh, part about 300 meters maybe without uh, not too many stores but uh, some stores from now we're going to be it's going to be the shopping street with many stores all the way to the station. Konnichiwa. <laughs> Attends, hop, voilà. Yes, thank you, Kyle. It's good you could find, find me live. So here they have, you know, this uh, Oshu gyoza, this gyoza place. You know, here, this is uh, Saitama Prefecture. Huh? And uh, Oshu gyoza, it's a chain store specific to Saitama. You must have heard about this place. It's pretty... 
sometimes it's okay. It's not the super, super high quality, but it's decent. And as you can see, it's super cheap, right? Uh, and then you have, you know, Karage. Ah oui, pardon, sorry, not an Osune, yeah. <laughs> Gome, sorry, yes. Osune. I don't know why I always say Osu, but it's Oso, Oso, right? Thank you. Osune. <laughs> we have, we must have a Saitama King, King Ming. <laughs> And then they have, you know, ramen and also uh, some, you know, Chinese food. Voilà. Donc, also, Aliyoto <laughs> Zemus, also, ne? Is. Uh, <laughs> you have to come to Saitama. I don't know if the. We, I think there are some in other cities too. I think so. I think I've seen some, yes, in uh, in Tokyo too, but uh, it's really Saitama Prefecture chain store. So lots of food, lots of temptations. Like here, that's really the place where you want to get a beer, you know, and some seafood, right? Happy hour until five. The beer is 300 yen. Highball, 270. Soft drink, soft drink, 200 yen. This is nice. Happy hour, guys. So you have, you know, I think that we all love those um, shopping streets, the Japanese shopping streets, cool atmosphere. It's very relaxing, I think. Alors, there is this. Uh, I think I showed you when I did it, the sumabushi, sumabushi uh, thing. Here they have this is an eco cafe. But what is interesting is that all those animals are rescues. So that, I think this is really a super cool thing to do. And every month there are some days when you can come and, you know, people they can meet the animals you know people who are really thinking about maybe adopting an animal they come here you know and um, interact with the animals and uh, voila that's um, I think this is nice because it's not having doing a neko cafe to use the animals but you know rather to help them so and it's right beside the Kaldi Voilà. So if you want to go to the Neko Cafe with rescues, it's right by Kaldi. You know that there is uh, my brand in Kaldi, so you can remember the, um, the place, I think. Huh? Another drinking place. Many, 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 many temptations. That's the why uh, shopping streets are very dangerous for me because they have all those yummy restaurants you know like I want to buy everything so I told you that they have uh, specialties based uh, made out of uh, sweet potato huh? This is uh, this uh, big, uh, I showed you, I think, you know, this big thing, you know, it's uh, made out of uh, sweet potato, but actually it's super light. Um, this. It's big, but it's light. It's light, so 
it's easy to eat but to me it's a little bit too sweet so I bought it once to try it but I didn't buy it twice <laughs> but if you like sweet uh, things I think that uh, you will like this voila so they have um, uh, that's really a Kawagoe specialty everybody do knows it and then you know last time we saw all the um, the specialties, the new specialties that they have now, you know, also the mix in between Western uh, sweets and Japanese sweets, that was pretty interesting, I think. There is another Neko Cafe actually here, but it's not with the rescues, I think. Huh? Neko Cafe. Ne? Don't go to Neko Cafe. One jump. <laughs> <laughs> there is a little pig in the street. <laughs> Kawaii. Ah. No good, not good. I don't like uh, this, uh, these uh, pet stores. <laughs> I'm against this uh, peas uh, place. It's a chain store for to sell animals and uh, I don't like it. <laughs> voilà, alors here you see you have also, you can do your shopping of course. Huh? ABC Mart. I think that you know that um, they sell lots of shoes at cheap prices. It's very popular amongst the Jap young Japanese people, especially because it's cheap. Here we have more food. Here it's a game center. Wow, ah, I know it was a smelling, it smells so sweet. It's some popcorn. Oh my god, that smells good. I think it's caramel uh, popcorn. Oh my god. That smells really good, huh? See, so now we are not yet in the middle of the shopping street, but we're really inside it, you know, so you can see behind me all the, the street, it goes all the way we came from and then it goes all the way to the station over there, right? You want to eat sushi? Yeah, I want to eat sushi too, Ramses. <laughs> I, th I think I could eat sushi, even when I'm full, I can eat sushi because sushi is so good, right? And if, if, yeah, even when I'm full, I can drink beer and have sushi, That's, it's not a problem. <laughs> Caramel popcorn, yes. Alors, this uh, Matsumoto Kiyoshi also is super popular, I know, amongst uh, foreigners too. I see so many, um, like Chinese people especially, they come here to buy things that uh, Matsumoto Kiyoshi sells at um, reasonable prices, I hear so. First kitchen, Japanese burger, I think. Is it? Do you have first kitchen in your countries? I know that most burger is uh, Japanese. I think that first kitchen is Japanese too. See, they have all those izakayas that are really, it's so easy, you know, to go in those places, even on your own, I think. Oh my god, I haven't had ramen in such a long time. I could have some ramen. Ah, this is a ramen store, but uh, is this another restaurant here? Ah, yeah, they have some meat here. I'm going to show you a restaurant that's super popular. A steakhouse. There's a big florist here. I 
think that the first kitchen is um, first kitchen is uh, Japanese, I think. Let me see. Ah, they have taiyaki. Guys, did you know that taiyaki? But they have taiyaki with a potato cream in it. I think that I've, I've this pro yeah, this was this one is uh, maybe in the program to not that um, chotomate. Ah, good. Ah, sorry. あれ、今日ごめんなさい。今日夜テレビ朝日の番組に出ません。すごいですね、視察団って。出ない多分。あ、本当あ、本当多分ね、私ほらあの出演してるので、なんかすごい似てるから多分ここ出てる取材で来た
Huh? I could do a live here on Sunday, but uh, you know, not today. <laughs> I'm not hungry enough. I thought I saw a comment. I think Ram says, "Did you write something like uh, it's all about drinks these days with me?" <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I have to. When I wanted to do some food last week, I couldn't after the. Uh, working in Japan live, I couldn't live stream anymore, remember it? But I did the Gyukatsu video for you guys, it's been about food. Hello, let me see. Is there any interesting other interesting places? Koedo Zushi. That's a sushi place. Koedo Little Edo Sushi. Beer? Really? Namabiru for 199 yen? That is cheap. That is too cheap, guys. Choto matte kudasai. Let's check it out. At this time of the year, I could live stream in such a place, huh? right? It must be packed in the evening, I think. Alors, attends, Jennifer should do live stream eating melon pan and drinking coffee. Alors, Tom, did you see I did a live stream eating the first time I had a melon pan, in, first time in my life in Asakusa. And I will go back someday. I think it's Samantha who. That day she asked me to have the one, maybe, I'm not sure it was you, but maybe you asked me to have the one with uh, the matcha ice cream in there. And I said no, because I should try, you know, the basic one as it was my first time. Um, but uh, I, I want to try that matcha melon pan someday in Asakusa. I should try and go sooner. Yeah, that's a good idea. After I've done my detox, <laughs> haven't done my detox yet. This is bad. You, Alato, you know I love anything covering drinks. Yes. Ah, thank you, Ramses. We have another tempting place over there, open 24 hours a day. See, we have some more sweet. Oops, I don't. say. Let me show you. This is some sweet potato dessert. That's my mono. This looks like it's a nizakaya, I think. They have like, uh, and also lots of seafood maybe. Yeah, because it's Nante, you know, Kole, Nanto Kamalu, Kisomalu, Suisan. I think the name, if I read it right, it's uh, Kisomalu, Suisan, maybe. Ah no, Isomaluka. Isomalu, Suisan. And they also have an English menu. And they have the fresh seafood ha ah, in there. That looks nice. So many people drinking already. Hi, Aliotosem. Ah, tozo, shimete kudasai. Ah, iyo, shimete te. I'm like, it's okay, you can close. <laughs> hey, service guys, huh? Cute lady for you. That, that's a nice atmosphere, huh? very Japanese, huh? Seems to be cheap, so... And they have a, the menu in English, so... So, daijoubu mo yomemashita, kaite takara. So, 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 alors, the Koedo beer, local beer, guys. Koedo ne, little Edo. They have different types. 
We are getting closer to the station. Some geta here. <laughs> you can feel that this store has been here forever. I have to I have to go and explore on other areas of Kawagoe and I told you that I I wanted to show you you know the um, they have uh, lots of shrines here so I have to show you those Someday that's another <laughs> sushi. Kaiten <laughs> sushi da yo. That's cheap, 110 yen per per sushi. Not very busy, huh? but. Uh... Almost at the end of the shopping street. Let's see, there is a last tempting. If only I didn't have, I hadn't had lunch. We could have, you know, tried one of those places another time. Another time. Yeah, one dollar sushi, that's good, huh? I'm not sure. I'm not sure about the taste of a one dollar sushi, but uh, I think that you know, maybe the sushi that you will buy at the department store will be better than the one dollar sushi. Not sure. Not sure. You have to try it before saying it's not good. Hi, Trek. Is that you really? Did you get something, Trek? Did you receive something? from me you have to tell me huh? when you receive something from me guys alors we are arriving um, oh you're coming to Japan Samantha that's good you remember guys I told you I did a live stream about uh, 100 yen goodies and I told you that Seria was by far my favorite. I think they have the best products, the best quality for 100 yen at Seria. Voila, and it smells, oh my God. I don't know what, what is it, this guy cooking? It smells, ah, takoyaki. Takoyaki, it's too high, but. Uh, it smells uh, like a little bit burnt, you know, so... And also, guys, the... Um, yeah, Siri is good, I think, huh? Another of... One of the favorites is those dango wagashi, you know? That's one of the most uh, popular wagashi in Japan. Wow, so... This is just simple one, you, you know, with the uh, soyu. 90 yen, it's cheap, it's uh, the price, I think. Huh? Then with the uh, seaweed. Ah, go on, say hi, hi, what um, are you He had a few flavors. Those, it's like super simple. I think it's made out of uh, rice flour, right? But it's, oh my God, this is so basic, so simple, but so good, right? Uh, alors, we are at the end of the street. We're going to um, cross. Uh, go up there. And the station is on the other side. We're going to cross some kind of shopping center. 
and then reach uh, the station. Voilà. So see, hold on a second, and I took my time. Okay, 45 minutes. When I'm on my own, I think it takes me something like not even uh, 15 minutes. Caroline, I'm doing this live stream for you <laughs> to show you more of Kamabui. So you ha you'll have to watch on replay, please. I showed the way from the Kulazipuri place all the way, the 1.7 kilometers all the way through to the station, okay? Voila, this is more of uh, Kawagoi. Huh? Hello. Ah, voilà. Up. So here, huh? that's the entrance of the shopping street. We are going to cross the shopping center, part of it, let's say, and we'll arrive at the station. They ha really have it's really a paradise to to do shopping in uh, Kawagoi. So if you go straight, you reach the station, but then see, you have there is the atrium. At Shrey, you know, it's those uh, shopping malls around uh, stations. Uh, um, Kawagoe, if you stay in Kawagoe, you won't have to go. I mean, if you don't want to go to Tokyo, it's okay. You'll find anything you, you, you may be looking for because uh, it's just another shopping. Like it's a maze of shopping streets and you know shopping malls and so you know. <laughs> voilà, almost at the station, almost on the other side. So you have you know from cosmetics and you know also like Western brands to Japanese brands. Can you find me in Kawagoi? <laughs> Are you in Kawagoi now, Trek? Voila, and that's the station. Huh? So see, that's pretty quick, I think. I mean, if you like, if like me, you like to walk. Some people, they can, you know, you can, or you could also take the bus uh, to come to from Kawagoi Station to uh, the Kulazukuli area. So see, this is a, uh, this is the atrium. So that's a shopping mall. All those floors are uh, stores. Uh. Who said uh, that Kawagoe was a nice uh, little town? <laughs> I told you it wasn't small. Huh? It's a pretty big uh, station. They are, there is the Tobu Tojo line and the JR line going through Kawagoe. <laughs> Voilà, Kawagoe Station. Huh? Okay. And from here, uh, if you, to go to the Kulazipuli, you can go as I did, so it, walk through the shopping streets as I did, but you can also take the bus. I assume that by taxi, if it's a few of you, by taxi for people it would be something like I think one meter, as they say, one meter, and that's usually 700 yen and something. So taxi could be an option too. Alors, attends. Up. 
you have, let me show you. See here on the left, you have the Tobuto Jo line entrance. Here you have more stores, eh, guys. <laughs> How do you do, do? How do you do that? Get emails from Uniqlo. You registered, right? <laughs> Alors, euh, voilà. I like the. You know when you go to take the train. I like that. Please come to Kawaogoe again. So that's the um, Tobu Tojo line. And then we have. I'm going to show you the JR uh, entrance. Trek, did you get my card? <laughs> I asked you. Did you answer? I didn't see the answer. Didn't you get it? I sent you a card. <laughs> yes, you didn't get it yet. I'm surprised because um, it's just, it was just a card, so you did, didn't get it yet. Okay, hopefully, maybe soon. I sent it uh, a week ago, so maybe it takes time. I heard that um, mail to Canada and the States right now, it takes uh, a long time, so. But stay tuned, you'll get it very soon, I think. And that's the entrance for JR. Okay? So you can use uh, both lines. I'm going to go on the other side to say bye bye. Huh? Um, yeah, track. You know, each time I go to the post office to send stuff, they tell me that uh, there are delays these days. So. Um, huh? <laughs> Ramses, thank you. Good job. Let's call it some of this. You're very busy these days, huh, Ramses? Each time I'm live streaming. Hello, let's check out this uh, side. I've never come to this uh, side yet. Wow, 30 days to get a card. That's a long time. I, to, to send a postcard to France, it takes uh, something like uh, three days. Ah, I think they are going to to do a live in the street. Maybe these are future famous people. Hi, Trevor. Yeah, Trek, I should, you know, usually when I send something, I don't tell people because it was a surprise, of course. I don't tell them, so that that's really a surprise, you know. But uh, I was thinking that maybe you had gotten it. So, I'm sorry. I uh, I told you it won't be a surprise anymore. Alors, attend, hold on a second because I'm wondering if I didn't spot Mount Fuji. Not sure. <laughs> I see Mount Fuji everywhere because I love it. So I want to see it everywhere. But no, maybe not. Yeah, just in my dream. I saw it in my dreams. No, we can't get any sunset from here. Even if the colors are pretty nice over there. Huh? For design, yeah. Uh, I think the kids are going to start uh, playing. Huh? Voilà, alors uh, merci. Thank you very much. Um, it was maybe not as super ex uh, it wasn't a super exciting live stream maybe but uh, I wanted you know to show you uh, another side of Kawagoe I had told you that I would show you you know um, those shopping streets because I think they are interesting too I mean if you come and visit uh, Kawagoe you could see with the today's uh, live you know that um, there is also other areas than the Kuladzukuri. Thank you so much, Trek. Um, I will uh, get a coffee, I think, later on. When I get, a, I have to go and buy food for the babies and then I'll get coffee before uh, going home. Uh, Jason, thanks for uh, staying up. And I will see you very soon, okay? I have uh, 
like yesterday, I have so many more topics I wanted to tell you about, so maybe next week, okay? I hope that. Arigatou gozaimasu. Kansha? No kanji. Um, Caroline, see, when you come to Japan, you have to stay here, right? We oui, merci beaucoup. I have to go back to the babies, and uh, tomorrow I have to work because I couldn't work today as I went to the Unagi place, you know. <laughs> you have to make a choice sometimes. And the call of Kawago is always stronger for me. Merci beaucoup. Have a good weekend too. And I will see you very soon, okay? Trek, thank you so much for the tip-in. A bientôt. Merci, Burita. I hope you're feeling better. Huh? And um, please enjoy your weekend. Just stay, stay warm at home, okay? Voila. Merci. À bientôt. Love you guys. Bon week-end. À bientôt. Bye. Hop.